everyone and welcome to Walk. My name is Pri and today we're going to be talking all about fast fashion. Uh, so what is fast fashion? Uh, fast fashion is basically clothing uh, that has very quick turnarounds. It's usually very trendy and uh, relatively cheap. So it goes on from the catwalk or the celebrity culture that we have uh, to the high streets in a matter of a few weeks or a few months uh, when that particular item of clothing is on trend. Uh, so why am I talking about fashion? Uh, that's because I love fashion, I love clothes, and I love to shop. Uh, and I'm guilty, as I'm sure are you, uh, of having deliveries in the office uh, because you shop online. Uh, so I have to admit, I am guilty of fast fashion myself because uh, when I look back at my university days, uh, which was a while ago, um, I used to shop, because obviously you're at a university, you've got a low budget, uh, so less spending on clothes, which meant when that I went to stores like Primark and spent under a tenner. If it was under a fiver, it was a good deal for us. Uh, so a lot of clothes, that, what I, which I spent, uh, say, a pound, two pounds, ten pounds, twelve pounds, um, which meant the quality of the product itself wasn't that great. Uh, so when I bought these clothes, wore it a few times, chucked it in the washing machine, uh, it meant the quality, because of the quality was so bad, I had to chuck it out, say, three weeks, five weeks, or even a month, month later, um, which is obviously damaging the environment. It's this throwaway culture that we have in the UK. I feel like now I've moved past that phase of uh, spending very little for a very f uh, limited amount of time uh, where I can actually use the clothing. So now that I'm working, uh, I've got a slightly bigger budget. <laughs> and I invest in pieces that uh, have a longer lifespan. So it's not a case of me wearing the clothing a few times, chucking it in the washing machine and the, uh, the quality is really bad. So now I feel like I can wear my, the items I buy uh, for a longer time, so a few years hopefully uh, for some. There was this time where I did throw away 10 bags of clothes uh, and I was shocked. Um, and I think that was when I realized that I have to change uh, my mindset uh, and the way I shop. Uh, and it wasn't a case of buying stuff just for the sake of it when you see a, you know, the sales online or when you go into shops and you have 50% off and 70% off and you think, oh yes, I'm gonna get a very good deal. And uh, now it's a case of, hang on, am I, when I look at, say I look at a dress and I think, hang on, am I actually gonna wear this uh, two times or am I gonna, is this gonna last me a couple of years? Uh, so that's what I focus on now. So to give you some facts, here in the UK, people buy more clothes per person than any other country in Europe. Uh, so to give you some figures, we've got uh, around 300,000 tons of textile waste uh, ends up in our black bins every year. So that's a huge amount. Uh, out of that, around 80% is incinerated or burned uh, and 20% is sent to landfill. So uh, you can see what uh, a huge impact it has on the environment. You might not believe this, but the production of textiles actually is a huge contributor to climate change. If you think about the scale, it's the emissions that it produces is actually more than uh, the international flights that you take or maritime shipping combined. The impact is huge, and that's why we have a lot of debates surrounding uh, the fashion industry and the impacts uh, and the impacts they have on the environment. And a lot of these emissions are actually generated from the farming of cotton that's used in your clothes, or even the huge amount of water that's used when producing these uh, garments. So if you look at these high street brands or even designer brands, we have brands uh, across the world where they produce a lot of clothes and a lot of the clothes actually when it comes to the end of the season or the end of the trendy period uh, is actually not sold. So what do they do with it? A lot of them actually have been accused of uh, just burning them. And last year we had it, there was a huge story uh, about Burberry, uh, a global brand, uh, which burned $40 million worth of stuff for the exclusivity of their brand. Bigger brands uh, which sell clothing for a huge amount of money are also damaging the environment. So you can see the two, how they play out as well. I feel like now we've got to a point where people are actually being more vocal about caring for the environment or wanting to buy from brands that are sustainable. There are a lot of people also so recycling their clothes, upcycling as well and selling them uh, and also making a bit of money out of it which is always useful for when you want to shop again. And I also have a huge pile of clothing that I want to sell, uh, recycling again. So if you're interested, 
hit the comments section. Because of people caring about the environment, uh, I think a lot of brands are now embracing this and wanting to be more sustainable. Uh, so they've actually made public commitments uh, towards sustainability. And we've also got brands like uh, H&M, uh, I think Marks and Spencer do that as well, TK Maxx. Uh, and what they've said is uh, they want people to bring in their old clothes rather than send it out in the black bins and onto landfill in it or um, it gets burned eventually. They want them to bring bags of clothes that they're no, no longer going to use it uh, and then they're going to use that to actually recycle uh, so they can make new clothes. I feel like a lot of brands are starting to do good things but it's not publicized as well because um, we were having this chat in the office the other day and I was, to, I was mentioning these brands who uh, encourage people to bring their old clothes uh, but uh, we, we, people in the office were like oh really I've never heard of that it's not really advertised as well so if you go onto their website it probably you scroll down the website and it's somewhere at the bottom or if you go into the stores they might have like a little signage that says or oh, you can bring your unwanted clothes and I think that's it's not very helpful. If they want to be seen as being sustainable, caring for the environment, I think you should be proud and you should be bold and you should advertise it all over saying this is what we're doing. If you want to help, uh, help us help you and the environment. Uh, and I, th I think the advertisements around these uh, need to be better. Talking about brands that are sustainable, so we've got a lot of high street brands uh, that are coming out with collections that are uh, sustainable. So they're using organic cotton or recycled polyester. Uh, so I'm talking about brands like H&M, uh, Mango as well has launched sustainable collections. So we, we don't actually have brands uh, in the UK or even globally as many brands who are sustainable as a whole. We have a lot of uh, companies that uh, have certain stuff that they sell are sustainable but uh, I think one of the companies we found uh, that is that claims to be sustainable as a whole uh, it's a brand called Mafia and it um, sells bags and totes like backpacks as well um, and they make these products out of recycled boat sails but one of the issues I think with sustainability and brands becoming sustainable is the whole issue around uh, the pricing uh, so I would I would love to buy from brands that are sustainable who sell sustainable clothing or sustainable accessories uh, but we, we're still at that stage where uh, making these products sustainable is costing a lot of money uh, which means eventually uh, it comes at a higher cost uh, in the shops itself so I think the, this is one of the issues uh, that's been ongoing for a while I feel like if I was to go out shopping as much as I would want to support a sustainable brand and save the environment and the planet uh, ultimately it's down to comes down to price uh, because I don't want to pay a hundred pounds more for a piece of clothing just because a bad brand was more sustainable and I get the same thing for the price in an ideal world I'd love to buy from a sustainable brand because I do agree now um, after so many years since those university days quality does beat quantity at the end of the day but uh, it's going to be a while before we get to that point where um, consumers as a whole invest in these uh, sustainable pieces of clothing and obviously the manufacturers and the producers have to uh, cater to what uh, the consumers want. So that's it for me here today but remember next time you're at the till think twice before you buy it. So it's not about spending lots of money on an item of clothing, but about making smarter choices on your purchasing decisions. And if you want to make another smart choice, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.